What about the underlying tension with your relationship? I mean, obviously, with Kirsten's mother, and she's you know still really upset about that. Is there going to be some lingering resentment, or she? Do you think she's ever going to get past that? Um, I, we find out Kristen's mom is definitely not out of the picture, and we find out more about her in the next few episodes. Um, and it's definitely something for them to work through. Yeah, there's a big reveal in ten in the finale. Big reveal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's just been this whole trust circle. Will they? Won't they? Should yeah. they? Shouldn't they? Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they kind of trip up with each other, but at the end, I think they come to realize that it's all for the best and it's all, you know, good intentioned. I'm not giving it away, but, you know. He'll be like, we've done interviews, he'll be like, and then in episode six, this is what happens. And then in ten, at the beginning, we come like, we got, Look, we got to give them a little bit of a tease to keep them coming back. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> So you're the spoiler guy, and I hear you're also the hair guy. Tell us a little bit about that. He's Kyle Harris. <laughs> yes, I guess I was born Not for Kyle the... Harris. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I uh, I do get a lot of flack for my hair being uh, basically. But isn't it beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. It's yeah. on it's on my head as long as it's on my head. It's 2.5 on the call sheet. <laughs> yes. So it's become its own character on the show. Yes. Yeah. No, this is true, and I think it's quite funny how Jeff has like taken it. And used it, yeah. Yeah, all the writers, the writers definitely use it, and they're like, the guy with the hair. Hey, you, the guy with the hair. Which one is it? The guy with. The, and I'm just like, all right, that's fine. I'll play. You have <laughs> luscious locks. What can you say? Yeah. Well, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> you can take it as a compliment for sure. <laughs> so we also heard some exciting news that there's potential for a crossover with our Shadow Hunters friends. We would love that. It would be really fun. I yeah. think we've kind of like. You know, anytime we see them, we're always like, yeah, it would be a fun thing to do. So. Yeah, we're definitely probably the closest with them as far as any other show on the network, mm -hmm. um, both being kind of new to the freeform and we came brand out, change. Like around the same time. Yeah. yeah. So we would love to do that. Uh, we shoot in Los Angeles, they shoot in Toronto. They're so if they want to come to us, that'd be great. I think they'd be into that. Yeah, I think yeah. they'd be into it. <laughs> Especially in LA. Alberto, how would you feel about shooting in LA? Um, I don't know, I've never shot in LA. Remember, we shoot in Toronto, so yeah. it's a whole other vibe. And we're talking like crossover. I, I, crossover, I would love, crossover, to, oh, I would love to shoot in LA. Sounds like yeah, uh, family's going yeah, on. Huge. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to be in that, that room with you guys. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go yeah. over there. Yeah, do your thing. Thanks for letting me jump in. Yeah, <laughs> good to skip out here. Good to see you guys. Anything you guys are enjoying at Comic Con so far, just on a personal note? Well, it's our first time here, so it's just really, I don't know, it's such a trip to meet fans. It's just crazy. I love my job, and I'm so lucky to do it, and so it's amazing to meet our fans and to meet people who really care about the show, and, and it just blows my mind every time that people show up, and they're so lovely. Yeah, so. it definitely puts things into perspective when you meet them. Like, I camped out all night to meet, and yeah, you're just like, like someone flew from Germany, you know, I love my job, I love going to work, but then getting that kind of fire behind you to come into a new season is just like, we got to keep going. There's too many fans out there that love it too much to stop now, so.